hello healthy family welcome to today's video i was i was not trying to catch my breathing on camera but yeah i'm breathing because it's hot i'm hot i'm out here waiting for my grandfather he didn't caught me for the okie doke for the second day in a row and it's hot i'm very hot like yes it's florida yes i'm used to the heat yes but it's been teetering between 90 and 100 and soon it'll be between 80 and 90 and i won't feel compelled to tell y'all every single time i see y'all that it's hot but your girl is hot and not only is it hot but i'm a little irritated and my irritation is very minor but i'm still gonna share it with y'all because it's my video so one, I'm irritated because it's so hot. It's so hot. I'd rather be cold because when I'm cold, I can warm myself up. When I'm hot, there's only so much clothes I can take off. There's only so much AC I can blast in order to kind of cool down, okay? I don't like being hot. Two, I had to go to uh, the a place where I normally find the coconut guy. And I've been going there, like normally he's there a couple times a week. And then I was like, man, am I missing him? And I started going every day to see if I was missing him. And they were like, no, nah, he just hasn't been up here. So I can't find my coconut guy. So I don't even have my coconut water to cool down my heart. Like, come on. And then third, I'm irritated because my face is irritated. I had to wear a mask the other day. I went to the hospital. Nothing's wrong with me. I just, I had to go take care of some stuff. And... I had to wear a mask for that particular part of the hospital. Normally, they'd be like, mask at the front door, but I can be like, okay, and keep walking and they don't really stop me. But the part that I went to, I had to have one on. And of course, I don't have none. So they gave me a blue one and Jesus Lord, that thing got my face. It's been like five days. My face is still irritated. I still got little bumps, pimples, whatever you want to call it. And that's not like me. So I'm irritated for that. I'm irritated. But anyway, I wanted to come and talk to y'all about this energy of today, of Friday the 13th, okay? I did a blog post on it on my website, um, www.ascendinginfinitegoddess.com. If you are subscribed and have a confirmed email, you should have received it. If not, just go ahead and check me out. Um, if you are subscribed and you did not get the email, it's because you did not confirm your email address, thereby giving me permission to email you, okay? It's important that you do that. Um, so go ahead and, and check me out there. But I don't know if it was, I think it was last year, um, I did a video on how to embody your divine feminine energy and your divine masculine energy. And I did that divine feminine energy on a Friday the 13th. And I briefly touched on the energy of today because I know traditionally we're taught that it's a day of bad luck and, you know, massacres happen and, you know, it's doom and gloom and be careful and whatever is horror story Michael Myers type stuff but that's not what this day is about okay I mean like everything else they give you things in reverse all right for decades and eons our ancestors saw Friday the 13th as a day to revere the divine feminine not just Friday the 13th but the 13th right they saw it as a day to revere feminine energy divine feminine energy to praise the goddess within us all not just us natural women but the feminine energy within us all i broke down what your feminine energy is your creativity your love your emotions right we all have that but with religion teaching us that you know women are evil and they, they're witches and they shouldn't do this and you know they're cursed and that's how we bleed and xyz which by the way if that's the case if women are ones who bleed or naturally should be able to bleed then despite whatever they want to medically do they want to transcribe transform trans around whatever that doesn't make you a biological woman now in your mind your mind makes you what you are so if you believe that you're a woman that's what you are if you believe you're a man that's what you believe you are because your mind will start to make you behave that way so don't get me wrong i mean i recognize what it is that people are doing and saying but you it's your mind it's in your mind thing okay so what friday what the 13th or friday the 13th now is actually revered as as a time to 
embrace and to celebrate the feminine energy, the creative energy, right? Revering Mother Earth, because Mother Earth <laughs> is feminine, right? That water energy, okay? That's why women, you know, can get wet, can excrete fluids when they are creating life for those who choose to create life in their biological wombs. It's the, the child is created in water. See, all the reverse, all the evil that's been shown upon us is because they recognize the power that we hold and they're afraid of it. Without women producing and multiplying on this earth, there would be no one. No one can enter this earthly plane unless it's through a womb. No biological human, I should say, can enter this earthly plane, walk and survive here on this plane unless they entered through a womb. That's why bloodlines are so important, okay? So when you think of that, of the reverence that the divine feminine has and the energy they have tried to attach to it, making it doom and gloom, you now see why the world has been in such turmoil. But guess what? The rise of the divine feminine is coming back. We're not to be forgotten. This year, 2021, is actually dedicated to divine feminine. Even the, the colors of this year is divine feminine colors. Blue, green, gold, right? All connected with that. And when you see that raising the divine feminine does not necessarily mean that you have to degrade the divine masculine because there's always a balance, Remember, we have both energies. I am a divine feminine being, this avatar I chose to use, but I have masculine energy. As a matter of fact, I before I even knew anything, I really felt that I was a man in one of my past lives. And although I haven't had any past lives uh, remembrance of me being a man, my chart has heavy masculine energy. And I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Okay, my energy, <laughs> very masculine. Got it. I got it now, right? having that balance with everything, seeing it and recognizing it and appreciating it. But raising the divine feminine allows us to raise creation. It allows us to raise love. And that is where we are moving from. Everything now on this earthly plane is changing around. The shadow is being shown on. So for so long, it's been told that you know, the fine feminine is weak, it's lesser, you shouldn't do this, you shouldn't do that. We're not recognizing them, they're not teachers, they can't be leaders in equality. <laughs> no. Understand that that could only go on for so long. And right now, it's coming to an end. But we have to do away with this toxic masculinity or else we're going to have another issue of raising the divine feminine, suppressing the divine masculine, and now we're in balance again. See, the great thing with divine feminine is that we can touch every uh, of every being, but the power has to be known. I'm so thankful that I'm not hearing so much doom and gloom so much in the emails and in the shows that I'm seeing. However, it is still out there in the collective consciousness that today is a bad day, an evil day. And subconsciously, even though many are not aware of it, they're still attributing that to certain traits. And now we're projecting that energy outward. We're projecting more of that fear energy. And that's not what we want. So I just wanted to come and share some of this information with you so you understand the true things behind this divine day. And take advantage of the beautiful, harmonious energy. Friday is naturally a feminine day, a day of love surrounded by goddess energy. Venus, Frigg, surrounded by goddess energy. Romance, that's why everybody's always happy on a Friday. Because subconsciously it's surrounded by love. That's where these people are getting their names from for the days of the week. Like Monday is moon day, emotional day. Why so many people get very emotional, either negative or positive to their benefit or detriment. Sunday, the day of the sun, when you should stop, you should reset, rest, bring in some abundance. That's why churches became so fruitful. The day of gold. And we can go on and on and on and on. 
But this day is naturally surrounded by love. And it's naturally a day that you should use to uplift and build the fine feminine energy. And when it's falling on a 13, when you have Friday the 13th, that's like a compound. That's like a beautiful, magical portal that's opening for you to now hone in beauty, romance, healing, protection. What is it that you want? Put it out there. It's so ripe and it's so beautiful and it's so perfect for the taking. It's just waiting for you. So that's all that I wanted to share with you, wealthy family. Let go of this fear. It's a lie. It's a trap. What these people have been telling us for so long. It's a beautiful divine day. It's a day to remember your divinity. And it's a day to honor the divine feminine within you and around you. As a cricket's co-sign. I love it. All right, wealthy family. I love you all. And until we connect again... Stay alert, stay aware, and live in love.